Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany, if you are new here. This is my kitchen and I am going to be organizing the heck out of my cabinets and also underneath my sink. I think I'm gonna save the fridge for a totally different video cause that in itself needs some major help. But right now I'm going to organize all the cabinets in my kitchen. They are a disaster. I have my littlest down here playing. He's about to go down for a nap about the time that I start organizing this so hopefully I can get all of this done during nap time that would be the goal and if I seem a little bit out of breath I am almost 29 weeks pregnant right now so I am just a little bit winded most of the time can I see that do you want to say hi so anyways I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I got um, I picked some things up from home goods some things from Target and some things from Amazon. I will leave any links to the products in the description box below if there are links. That way you guys can purchase them if you are interested in organizing your own kitchen. But hopefully this will give you a little bit of motivation. I am nesting hardcore right now, so I am just ready to, uh oh. I am just so ready to organize everything in my house. So I thought the first thing that I would do would be the kitchen because this is probably what needs it the most. And I'm also going to be purging things, getting rid of old pots and pans or plates or cups or whatever I find in these cabinets and really just organizing and making room for everything that I do have and that I do use. So let's go ahead and get started on organizing my kitchen. So these are just a few items that I picked up. These are some new measuring cups from Home Goods, and this is a bottle brush also from Home Goods. Just a few things that I needed. And then I am loving these Lazy Susans for every part of my house. So these are just a few things that I picked up while I was at Target. My favorite is this hanging organizer that goes over the cabinet door and you can store things on one side and hang a towel on the other. And then I just picked up a few things like dish soap, some dish scrubbers, and some new dish towels that I really needed. I also found this lid organizer that I think would be super handy in organizing pots and pan lids. And then this rolling cabinet organizer that you can put under your cabinet and conveniently roll it out. I thought that that was really helpful, especially for storing things like Tupperware. So before we get started on organizing, I wanted to give you a little glimpse of what my cabinet looks like untouched. I completely did not redo this for you guys. This is just what it looks like and I need to organize it badly. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to take everything out and organize the medication first. That seems to be the most cluttered. So I'm going to start with that and then take everything else out and completely rearrange the cabinet. So I decided that one of these Lazy Susans would be a good idea to put our most used medications in here. That way, when they're all facing out, you can just turn the table without having to take a basket down, go through it, and put it back up. You can just spin the Lazy Susan and find what you need. And so I am just going through all of the medications in the cabinet and checking for expiration dates and anything that we haven't used in a while or that's expired, I'm just going to throw it out. And then I will put all of our most used medications in the Lazy Susan. Now I'm just using my Dymo Mobile Label Maker. This thing is my favorite. I use this to label all of my bins in my house. It connects via Bluetooth from my phone using the Dymo app and all I do is type in what I want the labels to say and print them out and put them where I want them. I absolutely love this. I highly recommend it. So if you guys 
are looking for a labeler, I will leave the link in the description box below. But I just labeled um, on the Lazy Susan, those were the most used medications. And then I'm going to make a separate small bin for allergy medications. For the last medication bin, I went ahead and labeled this one digestive as well as other medications. So as you can see here, I have one coffee mug hanging from the top. And that is because I did a little experiment to make sure that the command hooks would hold them. And this mug hasn't budged, so I decided that I'm going to hang them all and make a little bit more space because they have just been crowded on top of each other and I'm afraid one is going to fall and break. So I'm going to see how many I can hang in this area and get rid of a couple coffee mugs that I'm just not using. But I found that this was a great solution to saving some space in your cabinet if you have a lot of coffee mugs. So a lot of my cups are actually in the dishwasher right now, but believe it or not, my husband is actually a lot better at organizing the cups than I am. When I empty the dishwasher, I tend to just put them all in there and he will line them up by each glass type. So that is how we are arranging them in the cabinet. And I'm just trying to take down the stuff off of the top and then rearrange everything in the cabinet so it fits nice and neat. And now it's time to tackle my nightmare of a Tupperware cabinet. I'm just taking everything out, going through it, purging things that are old or things that are broken or things that I don't use, and then going back and putting everything back in nice and neat. And yes, these are all the lids with missing containers. I have no idea what happens to the containers. It's almost like the cabinet eats them or something. So this is the cabinet before. This is where we store our plates and bowls. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out of it, get rid of a few things that we're not using, put things in a few different spots, and then reorganize the entire cabinet. Almost all of the dishes that you see here are from Target, including the bowls that I'm putting up now. The only ones that are not from Target are the very light mint green colored plates and bowls, and those are from Ikea. Thank you. 
So this cabinet became a catch-all for a lot of the kitchen appliances and things that we weren't using. So I went through here and got rid of a couple of things and donated a few things and then made space for things that were in another cabinet like my crock pot and a waffle maker and a blender. All things that I thought I didn't have space for until cleaning out this cabinet. And now to clean out the pots and pan cabinet. This one always has all kinds of crumbs in here, probably from the toaster that we used to store in here. So I'm just sweeping this out and then cleaning it out before putting everything back in order. So now it's time for our utensil drawer. This is the before. Everything used to be organized once upon a time and then things just get thrown in there and this is what we have. So I took everything out. This bamboo utensil organizer is from Target. I'm just going through all of the kids utensils and separating those and getting rid of a few old ones. I've had this clear organizer for so long, I'm not even sure where it originally came from, but it keeps moving from house to house with us. So I'm just putting different utensils in each of the little rectangle areas. And I did donate a lot of things that we either had duplicates of or utensils that we weren't using anymore. And this is the final drawer. This is the one that I was dreading the most. This usually holds our dish towels and bibs, but somehow always ends up being an electronic drawer as well. We don't have an office or any extra space in our house really, so it becomes a catch-all. And I'm using a drawer separator that you would use like for clothes or underwear, um, except that I decided to roll up my dish towels and store them this way. I love the way that it turned out. I wasn't sure how well it was going to work, but I absolutely love it. That way they are contained in one space and not rolling around in the big drawer. So the last spot in the kitchen is the underneath the sink area, which is an absolute disaster. This is where most of my cleaning products accumulate. I end up just throwing things in here. Once upon a time it was organized, but it didn't stay that way for long. There is also a plastic under the sink liner at the bottom of the cabinet to protect it from any water damage that we had in the past. And this is actually a little bin that I ordered off Amazon, but it didn't fit. So I'm sure you guys will see that in a later video. And here is the Target storage basket. I love the way that it fit on my cabinet door and fits everything that I use on a daily basis in there perfectly.
all right guys so that is it for my kitchen cabinet organization video I hope you guys enjoyed it I cannot tell you how good it feels to have organized cabinets and an organized kitchen I feel so much better and I am so excited to start organizing the rest of my house if you guys have any questions about the products used or anything that I did in this video, please let me know below and I will try to get back to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys next time.